the butcher in a little while. All is not lost quite yet for Hearts. Victory at Aberdeen just before the international break, keeping alive the faint embers of hope that relegation can somehow be avoided. The financial uncertainty off the field remains, though. On the field, Callum Patterson and Ryan Stevenson, their best chances of getting the goals required to gain valuable points. Ross County arrive at Tynecastle, still looking for their first win on their travels this season. They were on a run of three straight defeats. Former heart striker Gary Glenn led that goals hunt. With the story of the match, here's Brian McLaughlin. It was a vital game for both clubs as they strive towards Premiership survival. It was a 330-mile round trip for Staggies fans and fair to say all inside Tynecastle had their money's worth. County had not won away from home in the league since defeating Aberdeen at Petaudry in February and they were gifted a goal midway through the first half. Callum tapping with an inch-perfect pass to Graham Carey. He could scarcely believe his good fortune and took full advantage with a clinical finish. The lead though lasted just five minutes. Scott Robinson's miss-hit corner eventually falling to Callum Patterson. A fine finish by the young striker allowed space and time though to turn by the county defence before firing a left foot volley beyond Mark Brown. Jamie Walker was proving to be a real thorn in the county defence. On this occasion, Captain Richie Britton wrestled him to the ground, earning a yellow card that was to have consequences later in the game. Chances again though for county, a terrific effort from Rocco Quinn that thundered off the underside of the crossbar the ball clearly not crossing the goal line. Then another gift from Hearts, Jamie Hamill, this time giving Dutch striker Kevin Lucasen an opportunity. Jamie McDonald will save the day. One final chance in the opening period for Ross County, Gary Glenn setting up Quinn. Again, the Hearts keeper, though, came out on top. They did, though, manage to find their way back in front early in the second half. Gary Glenn setting up Lucasen, Hart's defence failing to clear before Melvin Deleu fired the ball home from 16 yards. Nine defenders in and around the 18-yard box for Hearts, but still Deleu had time to control the ball before firing home. Then a pivotal moment in the game, another challenge on Walker by Britton, leading to a second yellow card and an early bath. Little doubt in the mind of referee Crawford Allen about the decision. And with three minutes left for play, Hearts made their extra man pay off. Danny Wilson's header eventually ending up in the back of the net. Ryan Stevenson and Brian McLean challenging for the ball. It went in off the post. And another chance for Hearts in stoppage time. Callum Patterson with the header that rattled back off the crossbar. And Jamie Hamill shot wide of target. So close to a winner, but one point each after a pulsating afternoon at Tynecastle. Well, what a great effort for the boys again. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a d difficult season, you know. But, you know, whenever little heads go down, you know, we lost two really poor goals again. Um, you know, and if we can eradicate that, you know, we'll give ourselves a better chance because, as I say, they've not really had to work too hard for the two goals they've got today. I think that was our best performance, you know, of the season so far. Offensively, we were very good, and you know, defensively, at times we had to be good because Hearts, you know, put a lot of crosses and balls into the box like they do. And um, overall, I thought it was a terrific afternoon for for Scottish football, and uh, it was. Good.